All right, guys, how are you doing today? Make sure everything's working okay. All right, guys, how are you doing? Yep. My, my mic sounds really good, man. It sounds so much better than the mod mic did. So glad that I didn't go with them. They actually declined my repair helmet, and they're like, oh, we'll give you a 10% discount. Well, that's easy to get. You can get that off of Reddit anytime. But they did tell me about it. you can get a used one for like 30 bucks, which is good to know. I didn't know that you could do that. Um, but the warranties are just too short. A one year warranty on something that's that expensive, you know, I paid like $70 for that mic. A little boom mic, and you pay that much. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. They only have a one year warranty. So it either says not very good, very good about their build quality. Or, or something, you know, it's just not giving a lot of, uh, should at least be two years, I agree, uh, at least think. A lot of people have the same issue as mine, where they, they die at, like, a year and a half. It's exactly where mine died, a year and five months, so. Anyways, this one sounds so much better. Unfortunately, it's a lav mic, so it's not, it doesn't have to sit on my side like a boom mic, so it's a little bit more annoying, because I gotta put it on every time, but, um, it's really long, I can walk around my room with it. <laughs> So, that's nice, but, uh, yeah, what, whatever, it works and it sounds much better, and it was 12 freaking dollars, I'm not joking, the Sony loud mic was like 12 99 okay, 13 bucks, whatever, the Sony loud mic was like 12 99 super cheap, so, and it sounds 10 times better, much more clear, it actually has a left and right, um, channels too, anyway, Look, we're playing. We're playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, the original one, Modern Warfare, and the remastered version, which came out a few months ago. Uh, I hadn't messed with it. Actually, I never even played this one, ever. Not even the original. I've never been big into COD. Um, I like it. I usually play the campaigns every now and then. Um, but the twitchiness is cool, but the community of Call of Duty is it's horrible. It's filled with eight to twelve year old squeakers screaming bitching crying you know f this f that fuck your mom i fucked your mom blah blah, blah over and over to non-stop it, they have the worst manners and it's just a straight venom you know what i'm saying it's just irritating as hell you can't go into that community it's just if you want to play to play you gotta be by yourself or have a group of friends because it's Damn, this is horrible. Um, anyways, but the gameplay is a lot different. You know, the Call of Duty B Battlefield. I don't know why people com compare them. All they're completely different feeling games. You know, Call of Duty is twitch, fast reflexes. Battlefield is more realistic, and it's all about bigger maps, things like that. Call of Duty is about usually about smaller areas, indoors. Um, or that kind of map. So, completely different setups. Um, and they work just fine. But, supposedly people were raving about the campaign of Modern Warfare was just out of this freaking world. They said it was awesome. And, uh, so we're going to see how that goes. I love single player games. I do. Um, when I was younger, it was all about multiplayer. I wouldn't touch single player at all. Uh, but now that I'm older, I'm less competitive. Um, and... Uh, maybe I just haven't found that game that it just snatches, you know, clicks with me with multiplayer. But honestly, I just think it's my age, you know, just learn to move on to something else. Um, you know, you like different things as you get older, so. But I like the single player campaigns, I like the experience. Um, and supposedly this one is awesome. And with it being remastered, high resolution textures and all stuff, graphics, it looks great. Now, just real quick to look over the options, I boosted it as high as, we, almost as high as we could. And they have some really crazy settings here. Um, colorblind stuff, which is much appreciated. I like when they do this. They show blood on and off. It's good for kids. I'm glad they have this. Um, some parents don't even allow people to play it if they have blood. Um, hit marker. Actually, I had that enabled. I don't know why it didn't stay. Yeah, why is that staying? Okay. Alright. Um... Now here, okay, so I have a 1070. See, off to here, no, off. Okay, so up native render, render resolution. Normally this is on, okay? I turned it off, 
and I'm gonna render this game at 2304 by 1296. So 120% higher than the 1080p that I normally run at. Okay, so it's gonna be rendering the game at that resolution and then downscaling it to 1080p for me. Um, you may think this is pointless, but no, it actually makes it much sharper. Much sharper. And I'm assuming that I can, since it's such an old game, yes, it's remastered, but since it's an old game, I can be able to handle it just too easily with the amount of the card I've got. 1070 is a 10 is a 1440p card, okay, not 1080p card. Um, this isn't even 1440p. So I'm right here, and then we start running high resolution, texture resolution, extra, extra. Um, it says if you can fill the remaining memory with, with textures, that's crazy. So just by having this on, look, it fills it. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Um, shadows on, extra. This was not on before. The, um, the cast the shadow maps, the sun and spot, this was not on. It raised the memory VRAM quite a lot. Um, depth of field, high quality. I do not like motion blur at all. It bothers me. Uh, screen sp uh, ambient occlusion was off. I turned it on, not just for you know normal high, but HBO plus, AO plus. Um, medium distance on. Death prepass on. Post process anti aliasing. It was off. So it was off or on FXA. Either way, so we're going above that SMA one T two. Filmic. I don't know what Filmic is. I know what SMAA is. Um, so maybe something that's specialized to them? I'm not sure. I'll look it up. But it is the very last one, so we'll go with that. It is. We're also super sampling the AA, so that should give us a lot better, less jaggies. Uh, super sampling again is running it at a high, uh, rendering it at a high resolution, bringing it down to your screen. So it should be much crisper. Um, bullet impacts. Dynamic light was like four. I put it to max, which was eight. So the maximum number of dynamic lights visible in a scene. Bragdell is, of course, on. So uh, as you can see, I put it higher than the ultra was setting. Is ultra setting was I turned on things that wasn't even on the ultra, and then I did uh, super sampling on multiple things. Not only the whole thing, but also things like AA. And that's going to use 6 gigs out of the 8 gigs that I have for VRAM. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm assuming this will be running just fine. As long as I'm hitting a consistent 60, I'm good. Uh, if so, maybe we'll try... What's up that? Um, maybe we'll try... Fill remaining memory. I don't know. It says that improves overall performance but it may interfere with other graphic and in graphics intensive programs well I'm not running anything else however I do have one I have this on a solid state drive and two 1070, 1070 has very fast VRAM so and it's by the way it's overclocked this this GPU I have is one killer of an overclocker I got extremely lucky like higher than the, I get, I can do higher than the maximum they, they said it's supposed to get. Period. Like the best chip you can get is supposed to be like 2.1 gigahertz overclock. I can do like 2.16, I think, uh, is what it was. It's stable, like stable. That's after it come down, and that's that's a uh, and a synthetic benchmark, not just gaming. So a synthetic benchmark, I was doing 2.16 gigahertz. Um. Never went below 2.1, so it's crazy lucky. And of course, I'm running a, a my 7 2600K overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. So it's quad core hyper threading, eight, eight, uh, logical cores. All right, I think we're good here. Let's see how it plays. Good news first, the world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia, government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels, and 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled al Assad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? 
We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out of selection. His name's Soap. Good to see you, mate. Take one of the rifles from the table. Okay, even though I put it at 59, it, said, it didn't have a, um, a lock, frame lock. But it did say screen refresh rate. That's just that's the only options I have. Um, right now I'm running at 86 frames a second. So that's 96. So I look down, 140, 140, 141. So that's good. Um, okay, 126, uh, 95. This is good. So if, even with explosion stuff, it won't dip down below 60. That's what I like. You know the drill. Go to station one and aim your rifle down range. It's a little. That just a little bit lower. Before. Still not where I want it. I can always turn up on my mouth so. itself. There we go. So turn up a little bit. Okay. I know it's a little bit slower, but I can still do 180s, no problem. You usually want to be able to do 180 in the flip. Um, what's the plan of the game? I can do almost that. Okay, 155, 150 degrees or so. That's close enough. I, that quickly. I, I don't think I'll be going even going back and forth behind myself. Lovely. Now, shoot at the targets while firing from the hip. Oi, where are you going? Get back to station one. Okay. Now, aim your rifle down range. Now, shoot each target while aiming down the sights. Now, I'm going to block the targets with a sheet of plywood. Bullets will penetrate thin, weak materials like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. I want you to shoot the targets through the wood. Good. Now I'm going to make the targets pop up one at a time. Hit all of them as fast as you can. Proper good job, mate. Now go get a sidearm from the armory. Good. Now switch to your rifle. Now pull out your sidearm. Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Using your knife is even faster than switching to your pistol. Knife the watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Oh. Nice! Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Captain Price wants to see you. Price. There's always a price. Okay, where the hell's price? That's pretty good. Never have dollars so. I mean, the today's game is still a little bit better. But, uh, look at that. That's realistic. A puddle. Yeah, there's one. Actually, no screen tearing. Well, okay, I should get back. A little bit. But I have to force it.
to do it, which is good. It's the FNG, sir. It's his first day. What the hell kind of name is Soap? Eh? How do muppet like you pass the lotion? So it's your turn for the CQB test. Everyone else head to observation. For this test, you'll have to run the cargo ship solo in less than 60 seconds. Gaz holds the current squadron record at 19 seconds. Good luck. Climb the ladder over there. Pick up that MP5 and four flashbangs. On my go, I want you to rope down to the deck and rush to position one. After that, you will storm down the stairs to position two. Then hit position three and four, following my precise instructions at each position. Grab the rope when you're ready. Whoops. <laughs> well, he jumped on it. Yes, you hear that. Pick up that MP5 and four flashbangs. On my go, I want you to rope down to the deck and rush to position one. After that, you will storm down the stairs to position two. Then hit position three and four, following my precise instructions at each position. Roger, roger. Grab the rope when you're ready. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Position two, go! Hit the targets! Flashbang through the door! Um, why isn't it? Flashbang through the door! It's not... Flashbang through the door! Position three! Go back! I can't see any fucking Go to numbers. position three! Four... Position three! Go back! Position four! Hit the target! Position five, go! Hit the target! Six, go! Flashbang through the door! Well, I hit the four, I, I put it on the my... Targets. Line of position, go! Sprint to the finish! That was too slow. Come back to the ladder and start over. Okay, why isn't my... I have my... throw grenades on, you know... Maybe because it's on flashbang? I have it on my mouse, but it's not working. Um, put that here. Then grenade. We'll just be middle mouse button. Mouse five. Where's melee? So melee. Red grenade there, special like okay. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Position two, go! Hit the targets! Position four! Hit the targets! Position five, go! Hit the targets! Six, go! Flash break through the door! Hit the targets! Final position, go! Sprint to the finish. All right, so that's enough. You'll do. Climb up the ladder if you want another go. Otherwise, come over to the monitors for a debrief. Regular. No, we're doing. Replace hard. any flashbangs you used. Go, go, go! Hit the targets. Position two. Go. Hit the targets. Flashbang through the door. Position four. The targets. Position five. Go. Hit the targets. Six. Go. Flashbang through the door. Hit the targets. Final position. Go. Sprint to the finish. That was better. Not great, but better. Climb up the ladder if you want another go. Otherwise, come over to the monitors for a debrief. He didn't replace make any flashbangs you used. Go. 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 Hit the targets. Position two, go! Hit the targets! 
Flashbang through the door. Position four. Hit the targets. Position five. Go. Hit the targets. Six. Go. Yeah. Flashbang through the door. Hit the targets. Final position. Go. Always get stuck Sprint in this fucking door. All right, so that's enough. You'll do. Climb up the ladder if you want another go. Otherwise, come over to the monitors doorway. for a debrief. It's in the whole second Replace right any flashbangs you used. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Position two, go! Hit the targets! Flashbang through the door! Position four! Hit the targets! Position five, go! Hit the targets! Six, go! Flashbang through the door! Hit the targets! Final position, go! Ah, oh, fuck me. Sprint to the finish. Pretty good, Soap. But I've seen better. Climb up the ladder if you want oh, another door. Go. man? It's that last part. Otherwise, come up to the monitors for a debrief. Replace any flashbangs you used. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Position two, go! Hit the targets! Flashbang through the door! Position four! Position five, go! Hit the targets! Six, go! Flash break through the door! Hit the targets! Final position, go! Door Sprint again. to the finish! That was an improvement, but it's better, not hard to improve on garbage. Oh, 20. Try it again. Climb up the ladder if you want oh, another go. Really Otherwise, crazy. come over to the monitors for a debrief. Replace any flashbangs you used. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Position two, go! No, not this one. Hit the targets! Flashbang through the door! Position four! Hit the targets! Position five, go! Hit the targets! Six, go! Flashbang through the door! Hit the targets! Final position, go! Sprint to the finish! Fast, but sloppy. You need to work on your accuracy. Climb up the ladder if you want another go. Otherwise, come over to the monitors for a debrief. Replace any flashbangs you use. I want that 19 second. I want to be him. Go, go, go! Hit the targets! Position two, go! Hit the targets! Flashbang through the door! Position four! Hit the targets! Position five, go! Hit the targets! Six, go! Flashbang through the door! Hit the targets! Final position, go! Sprint to the finish! Nice. Pretty good soap. But I've seen better. What Climb was up his? the ladder if you want another go. Otherwise, come over to the monitors for a debrief. Gentlemen, the cargo ship mission is a go. Get yourself sorted out. Wheels up at 0200. Dismissed. They certainly did tell you the right time for making it very difficult. You will not survive. I don't know if I really want veteran though. I guess can I change it in mid game? Let's try it. If it's too hard where it's not fun, then we'll change it. I'm also having to wear my hat because I washed it. And if you don't wear it after that, it doesn't dry quite well. Bravo team. The intel on this op comes from our informant in Russia. Package is aboard a medium freighter, Estonian registration number 52775. There is a small crew and a security detail on board. Rules of engagement, sir. Crew expendable. Crew is expendable. Base plate, this is Hammer 24. We have visual on the target. Only one second. This uh, that is getting in the ring. Does that work? Alright, hopefully that can work for a while. Turn it into my head wearing a wet hat. Okay, yeah, I can lower difficult if I need to. Hope I don't EPA 60 seconds. Copy 24. Christ, badass. Yes. 30 seconds going dark. Gas, stay 
Stay in the boat till we secure the How do they not see a helicopter? Roger that. Squad on me. Stairs clear. Hey, nas darove, polkovnik. What? Hostile. Hallway clear. Sweet dreams. Crew quarters clear. Move up. Why can't I get a, a silenced weapon? Forward decks clear. Green light on Alpha. Go! Ready, sir. Go, guys. Why am I always having to be in the back? Move them right. Okay. Move up. Ow, cat. No. That hurt. Okay. Damn, man. Ah, motherfucker. Stop!
stop that. Don't claw me, dude. He's like trying to... God, his nails are getting so sharp. He never claws me. What the hell? You want to lay on my lap? You can do that, okay? I don't want you clawing my leg. Kittens. Alright, I chill. I don't know. To attack my headphone wire. Get out of here. Go. Oh yeah, sounds messed up. Wonderful. Forward area clear. Move! Clear right. Clear left. Stack up. Stand by. On my go. One ready. Two ready. What the fuck is popping in my ear? On my mark. Go! I don't like this gun, man. It's quite a big gun. Uh, you might want to take a look at it. I want something more accurate. I, I don't like something like that. Like the MP5 is usually okay with the something else on it, but. Bravo 6. We found it. Ready to secure package to transfer. No time, Bravo 6. Kill yeah, Bobby's headed your way fast. Grab what you can and get the hell out of there. Fast movers. Probably mixed. We better go. So, grab the manifest in the container. Move! Move, fucking idiot. So, get that manifest. Alright, everyone topside. Double time. Warcraft Griffin, what's your status? Already in the helicopter, sir. Enemy aircraft inbound. Whoa. Bravo 6, come in. Bravo 6, what's your status? The aircraft do that? Or... Yeah. What the hell happened? It's just thinking! We've got to go! Now! Come in, damn it! Uh, this is Bravo 6, we're on our way out! On your feet, soldier! We are leaving! Get to the catwalk! Move, move, move! Move your asses! Come on, let's go! Back on your feet! Let's go! Oh, 
ship or what? Set up that C4. That was either C4 or this one. I don't even think a missile would have done that. Not the inside like that. Well, a hey, uh Um What's the word called? Um the underwater ones, um What the hell? And what the submarines shoot? Oh, I can't think of it. Typhoon um Cars inbound or whatever. You guys know that we're underwater um, missiles that submarine shoot. I don't know why I can't think of it for some reason. We're doing this on deal. the uh, cars that didn't really shit. Trash can. But I can't stand the daily slave. For God, God wants us to kill. For God wants you to murder. Just your brothers. Father.
Madame Mourouville. God, that'd be fucking scary. This is quick. Captain Price. Al-Assad just executed President Al-Falani on national television. The Americans have plans for Al-Assad, and it's too late to do anything for Al-Falani. But in less than three hours, code name Nikolai will be executed. Nikolai, sir? Nikolai is our informant in the ultra-nationalist camp. He supplied the intel on the cargo ship operation. Nikolai's in hell right now. We're gonna walk him out. We take care of our friends. Let's move. Yeah, he risked a lot to give us information like that. Right. The loyalists are expecting us half a click to the north. Oh, much better weapon. Wow. Thank you. Loyalists, sir. Huh? Hello, the good Russian. Ooh, the yes. Well, they won't shoot us on My side, favorite combination. Yeah, well, that's good enough. For me, sir. Red dot. And a sniper. Weapons free. Hostile down. Enemy down. Good work. There should be a few more guard posts up ahead. Come on. Right, sniper found? Looks like it. Bulletproof. <laughs> Guys, you smell that? Yeah, camera off. Camera off. Welcome to the new Russia, Captain Price. What's the target, Camaro? We've got an informant to recover. The M21's on the other side of the hill. The rockets have killed hundreds of civilians in the valley below. Not so fast. Remember Beirut? You're with us. <laughs> I guess I owe you one. Bloody right you do. Vanya, we're 
готовься к атаке. Жди моего сигнала. Take out the machine gunners in the window so Kamarov's men can stall the building. Get the other machine gunner through the wall. Got him. Damn! Enemy helicopters! You didn't say there'd be helicopters, Kamarov. I didn't say there wouldn't be any either. Protect my men from those helicopter troops! This way! Make it quick, Kamarov. I want that informer. You have nothing to worry about. We'll take out the M21s and carve a path straight to your informer, Captain Price. So we've got company. Helicopter troops closing in fast. See if they're bad or not. Running out of time. Help us! 
further my men can get into this village, the closer we will be to securing your informant. There's an RPG over here. What was it? Does it not have a shot? You guys go down? No. Look, the final assault has already been drive? We need we need to play uh Wildman. We are sure to I got it the other day. Captain Price. I need to ask one more favor of you and your man. Enough sniping! Where is the informant? Stop it, Elias! Stop Sumas the shell! Where is the Elias? The house! The house of the northeast end of the village! Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now go and sit in the corner. So, guys, we've got to reach that house before anything happens to the informant. Let's go. blow up or he oh yeah yes I did I was like what the fuck going on Ooh, what the hell let's move you may still be alive guys go around to the back and cover power so get ready Go around to the back, but we block it. Guys, do it. Alright, I've cut the power. 
tower. Go. Victor! Электричество погасло! These night vision goggles make it too easy. You, you've got a war going on and lights go off, please. Think. We think it's happening. Just shot through that door. Fuck me. I am in the hardest difficulty, so it takes two shots or so, and I'm done. It's him. Nikolai, are you all right? Can you walk? Yes, I can still fight. Thank you for getting me out of here. Big Bird, this is Bravo 6. We have the package. Meet us at LZ-1. Over. Bravo 6, this is Big Bird. We're on our way. Out. Let's go. How dark is it? Oh, yeah, it's pretty darn dark. Thirty pieces. That's ours, right? This place is like completely undefended, like you guys, why don't we get in here? The Americans are making mistakes. They will never take Al-Assad alive. Jackson, take point. 
up. Okay. <laughs> ah, that broke. Do this again. Now I understand where all the doors are. Two? Okay. Man, these guys are fucking hard. I don't know where they're in there. They change what they do every time. And I don't know why it takes so long to reload. Right? 
easily get killed. At least it's like. <laughs> Why did he get shot? I only get shot. Right, I'm going to crouch like, as soon as I get in. I thought I was going to be a little bit further back when I brought him. Not a good place to be. None of guys are helping. Watch it, dude. Oh, nice. I'm still making a run for it. RPG. All right, let's move out. Suppressing fire. Tired. Oh, he's right behind us, right there. I didn't even see him. Jeez. Okay. This is not fun. Why don't you die like this? Like, too easily. <laughs> Is 
so I can move out at all, you're dead. Fuck! I didn't see it in time. Come on, man. Pop your head up.
Man, urban combat fucking sucks. So many places they can hide. Oh, come on. Oh, he's up there. They were on a line, though. That would have been so nice. How far back? Oh, my God. You're kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. That wouldn't have been a fucking... Oh my god! Sorry, bro. I know you were trying to fire on like that. Target building in sight. Alright. Sorry, man. We've got the TV station locked down and surrounded, sir. Good. Get in position to breach. Fucking hard, man. The hardest difficulty, man, is a bitch. To it. Breaching! Breaching! Go, go, go!
Oh my, I fucking knifed your ass, dude. Better not put you back all the way back. Thank God. Come oh, on, oh, let's dude. go! Yeah, <laughs> two guys. Move, bro. Fuck, man, two, three. Spot. This is hard. You just die so quickly. Closer. So it may lower just because it's not as fun. Motherfucker! Alright. I'm gonna harden. Just cause it's not as fun, man. And my sound keeps messing up. And my headset. Or uh, try a different pattern. God, my headset. Get 
that RPG has got to go. That wall. Let's just, let's just try to uh, butt just rush to that. Let's see how that works. Wow, he really got one right in there. All right, where can I get to? That's better. Maybe just stay at the beginning. Let me try that. Dude. Fucking men do they have?
I wonder if they're just gonna keep coming. Shit, I'm gonna miss this one. Fuck! Yeah, it's like they just keep coming. We just gotta rush through there, maybe? Alright, I'm gonna rush through the back end, see how that goes. I thought there was more back here, but there's not. Ah! You did just have to move forward so they stop coming. I knew it was fucking endless. Ridiculous. Oh my gosh. How stupid was that? Um, is there anybody to come blow the door for me? Ugh. Oh, we're gonna go that way? What a stupid level, Friendly's coming out. No sign of Al Assad, sir. All right. All Stay frosty. Oh. Hope they didn't just kill him. I think they're gonna keep coming until I get out. Move! Fuck it. Okay, I guess I was supposed to go that way. Watch your six, Devil Dog. You're supposed to do that, man. Everybody with me? Alright. Nobody with me. Come on, guys. Oh shit. 
Get in here, open this freaking door for me. Come on, mate. You hear him in there? I think he's in there. I hear him. Uh, exactly. Oh, Just to clear. GB. He's not here. Trying to loot. Broadcast is recorded. <laughs> yeah. Score one for military intelligence. Greeks, turn that dog. Roger that. I got something better anyway. Command, this is Red Dog. TV station secure. No sign of Al Assad. The broadcast is a recording. Over. Yeah. Wow. Why can't I put lights out of before they did Roger. that in games, I guess? Marines, rally up! We got a new assignment. Get your gear and get ready to move out. Let's go! Oh yeah! <laughs> Man, that freaking level was just bullshit. Like, never ending until you get to a certain point or a certain place. They just keep coming. After heavy fighting today, U.S. Marines began to push into the city where Al Assad is making his last stand. Fighting has intensified in the capital city. Anti-aircraft fire. Roger, I'm looking at the repeating. Matt Red 5 2 7 6 1 9 Over. Bravo 6, we have an Abrams dead in the water. Call sign, four big. Lieutenant Vasquez, your unit is shot cut. That's really good. Copy. I played like two and a half hours straight. We're on our way out. The Middle East. Is this be a uh, swamp here or something? People say it's a really good level. I forgot which one that is. Stuck half a click north of here. We gotta hustle. Let's go. All right, one second. All right, I'm probably gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Save it, and we're gonna, gonna stop, smoke a cigarette, get some coffee, come back and play some Titanfall too. That one I know is amazing. We'll come back to this too. It's just that other one just kind of burnt me out with that bullshit. Never-ending enemies. Wow. Maybe it wouldn't be so hard if, if I wasn't playing on such a hard difficulty level, but I was playing on the most difficult period. Not hard, but veteran. And that shit's, you know, one and a half shots and you're done. And they come from every different angle. And there's so many different ways you could take in those urban streets, man. That it's angle after angle after angle. Like, you don't know where they're coming from. Coming this window, that window, the second floor, third floor, behind the car. Over the car, throwing grenade after grenade after grenade, and it's or they won't peek up, and it's, God, one thing after another. I mean, I understand how fucking difficult and scary urban combat must be. Like you think it's all cool, you know, wearing the black shit and uniform, but nah, dude, I wouldn't want to do urban combat. I mean, yes, you've got walls and stuff, but breaching and it's just putting yourself as a target. You've got to rush in, man. That's not where I want to, you know, hand to people who've done that, who, you know, go over to Iraq and Iran and fight for our rights and stuff. I'd love that, fight for our country. I wish I could have done it. I wanted to join the Air Force. That's what I did my entire childhood. I was preparing to go be a pilot. You know, I was, uh, the Boy Scouts made some Eagle Scouts. Um, I did, had 3.65 GPA all the way through school. Um, I did, uh, I volunteered for Civil Air Patrol, it's a voluntary auxiliary of the Air Force, where you go and help rescue downed aircraft in the, um, area of, um, eastern Tennessee, um, in the Appalachian Mountains, we, you know, we had to go find their beacon, the problem with the beacon is it bounce off the walls of the mountains, make it very difficult to find, so we'd fly, we'd have some people flying over in, uh, aircraft, whether planes or helicopters, to locate the beacon, then we had to send people out on foot, usually, because a lot of times these are inaccessible. Um, get get a car as, as close as you can, and then trek through the mountains. Have to rescue those people, 
you know, bring them down from tree. Find people with, like, I've gone and come up with people with sticks right to their stomachs, you know. Just horrible, horrible scenes. Carry out the people that are alive, give them as much medical stuff, um, attention as we can, like, pull them out of there, hopefully save their lives, you know. Um, did that. Um, you know, I did um, Air Force uh, camp. Like, it had a space camp, but they had one for Air, Air Force. Taught my class. You know, I did everything right. I did everything right. I did um, a lot of the um, um, flight, the flight simulator um, X. I um, practiced on all different types of military aircraft. In a flight simulator, they everything is real. All the buttons, all the physics, everything, and you know everything in cockpit is one hundred percent real. And I tested myself in all different types of weather conditions, different. You know, mostly I test on the F-16, um, since that's what I was, I wanted to fly the most, and that is what I had a good chance of flying, since it's a plane that's used a lot in the U.S. Air Force, it's used in the Air Guard and everything, I don't care if I had to use the Air Guard or the Air Force, as long as I got to fly F-16s and serve my country, I was happy, and then, uh, I took my ass wraps, scored really, really high, they said I could basically choose what I wanted to do, I scored so high, um, even things like, um, physics and, um, that kind of stuff, um, of course I had to finish school for that, but, um, they would help pay for that, but, um, they said if you want a pilot, you could pretty much choose where, what you wanted to fly, or where you wanted to go, uh, you know, I wanted to fly the F-16 or maybe even chance of the F-22. I don't know if I would have got a chance. I mean, I would have had... The F-22 was just freaking new when, um, about that time. And I didn't think I would get a chance to do that because that's only the best, the best, the best. And I'm damn good. Don't get me wrong. But there's always somebody better. Um, so who knows who gets the F-22. But either way, F-22 or the F-16. F-16, I would have been... That plane... You, you don't... You don't pilot that plane. You strap into it. You are the plane. It's very, very small aircraft. You get in and the seat is laying back at thirty degrees. So you're like almost laying down and it, it makes it easier for you to get keep the G's to keep the blood up to your brain because that aircraft can pull nine and a half G's sustained. Which is fucking crazy. Alright, and those turns are super harsh. So you're laying back and the throttle is on the left and your joystick's not in the middle between your legs, it's on the right and it's fly by wire so you literally got your hands left and right really comfortable positions so you're controlling the whole aircraft with your right hand, right, uh, right wrist and stick um, your arm and super um, the a plane is inherently unstable but that's what makes it so maneuverable the plane can um, do Mach 2.1 2.1 times the speed of sound it can, it can accelerate going completely vertical. It can literally accelerate going vertical. What does that tell you? How much power that is? It's using a very, very... I uh, forgot the engine, but um, the engine it's using was an engine that had been used before, and it was its reliability is awesome, which is why the Air Force felt okay with for one engine, unlike the Navy, which, since they're over ocean, they felt they needed two engines, which is why they went with the F-18. Actually... It was, they had a competition between the F-16, the F-17, which, um, and the F-16 won, but later the F-13, F-17, they kept working on it, working on it, and eventually be turned into the F-18, that's when the Navy bought that. Um, the Air Force and Marines and stuff all had F-16s and, um, the Army as well, um, even had some. That plane... Bet one of the best dog fighters out there. I mean, just zip, zip, spin up, down, wherever you wanted to go, it would do. That was my dream. Seven months, but seven months before I went, I was going into it. I had got, I got into a uh, dirt bike accident and it tore all my uh, ligaments out of my left knee. My LCL and PCL just shredded, torn, gone, Could not not fixable. Um. A week later, they finally they had surgery. They got they had the orthodontist, the orthodontist, the um, 
what they're called, work on ligaments and tendons. Um, he had to get two other doctors to help him with it because it was so difficult. He said one out of every 200 surgeries is as bad as mine, is what they said. They had to cut, take out my ligaments, and they took somebody else's uh, cadavers, Achilles tendons, you know, the one that runs along the backside of your heel. It's the most, it's the strongest tendon in your body. Um, they had to put two of those on my knee, pretty much attach them to my knee, screw them in. And uh, I had I was in bed for 11, or 10 or 11 months, couldn't even get out of bed, so my legs atrophied, lost all my muscle in both of them. I had to learn how to walk again. Um, and it ruined my chance for that. It killed me, man. That was all my whole life on that. Um, but they don't take too kindly about letting people like that with that much that kind of injury fly, you know, top. Even though eventually I've got my knee back to working at full order. Um, no, it's not quite as strong as my right one. Um, I can't, f it doesn't, I, the angle, I can't, f it's not 100%. I can't pull it all the way up to back to my butt. It's real tall. Um, I mean, this, I can't, you know what I'm saying, you pull it behind you. Um, I have about 90% instead of 100%. Um, but between that and my eyesight not being perfect, I figured I would have got laser surgery and I would have been okay with that. But both of those things together, I will, might have gotten to fly. It would have been some bomber or some cargo plane. That's not not what I wanted to do. So that ruined basically <laughs> my future. Um, also, they got me hooked on pain pills because they, they are feeding me oxys and Percocets and morphine just because I mean the pain for torn ligaments is out of this world uh, I've broken literally over close to two dozen bones my body they hurt but ligaments is on an entirely different level of pain it's the kind of pain that makes you want to pass out um, on I never I got like I said I, I was a daredevil growing up totally, I mean, I didn't care about pain, broken my arms, legs, back, skull, wrists, hands, feet, ankles, I've broken just about everything, chest, um, low, I lower, broke my back, lower back, you know, I've, or fractured my lower back, but, you know, nothing like that, that's just so painful, um, so I got hooked on all those pain pills, and, um, Instead of weaning me off, they just cut it off, bam, one day. And I was so young, I didn't know anything about withdrawals. And, you know. So it was, it was pretty rough, guys. It, luckily, I had computers to fall back on because I was really good with, with technology computers. But it's not what I wanted. It's not what I aimed for. But uh closest I can get to piloting is being in a game. I'm hoping I can get... Uh, Vi, HTC Vive, or an Oculus Rift, or something, so I can actually feel it, you know? Maybe I'll be wealthy enough one day to own my aircraft, but I doubt it. Anyways, I don't know why I got into that story, a little sad story. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, that's how it goes, I guess, right? Alright, sorry for you guys who just joined, but I'm actually gonna get out of here. We're gonna, uh, come back. We're gonna play some Titanfall 2. So I'm gonna get some coffee, smoke a cigarette. And we'll be back here in about five minutes. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging around. See you guys in a few.